Hello Vray users, Alex here, your Vray guide and today I'm bringing you a cool tutorial about Vray bug detection or at least a way of uh, finding and solving bugs. Um, lately I got two emails from two users uh, having problem with the uh, scene illuminations and complaining about uh, weird dots going all around the scene with uh, different colors and that reminded me that back in 2006 I got the same bug that I was really hard struggling to solve it and uh, eventually I did solve it but it took me a, uh, it took me a while so uh, anyway I've decided to make this uh, tutorial uh, just to help you out if you might get this bug as well um, I call it disco lights as you see here it's uh, it's a different spotlights that illuminating all your steam um, it may be also with different colors and uh, different shapes and size so um, basically the first thing that you want to check is uh, your message your message if you're getting a uh, a bounding box is too large or you're getting uh, far from position or uh, far from origin it means that your scene is uh, is a far is a uh, uh, far from the center so you need to position your scene on the center and um, you just might want to check your scale units that um, that you are working with uh, with scale units and um, I'm working with centimeters in USA probably and Canada you working with inches so uh, just check uh, check this out that you are in real scale mode and uh, your scene size is a real size um, you can use a tape to measure to measure your uh, distance to measure your walls as you see here my is uh, three three two uh, centimeters I'm working with centimeters so it's uh, three meter it's really really high uh, ceiling so um, so I'm in, I'm in good shape. My scene is probably in uh, in good in good position and it positioned in the center. So this is the first thing that you want to check. Um, the next thing that you might want to check is your lights. That your lights not uh, touching any, anything or uh, detecting anything. Um, as you see here, all my lights um, they have no collision with each other. So. Uh, this is the next thing that you want to want to check um, your light position. If you got any hidden lights or any other lights, just make sure um, you turn this off. You're not rendering any hidden lights. Um, also, make sure you don't have any duplicated lights. Now, sometimes it happens when you work fast and you don't notice it. So uh, just make sure you don't have light in light in light. Sometimes when you make a group and you duplicate. Um, it make you um, so that's for lights if the bug still there if the bug still occurs uh, you can move on to checking your uh, textures so regarding textures um, um, you might want to check your UV W mapping it's very important thing that you have a UV W mapping on all, all your models and uh, all your objects so uh, I know sometimes it may also cause a, a bug to occur so uh, after checking all your models all your objects got UV double map aligned to them um, you might want to check uh, you might want to convert all your materials with v Steam converter as you see here I got here a standard material and if I press uh, convert to Steam um, Oh, I'm going to get this uh, this message I'm going to get this message if I'm using ray trace materials ray trace materials are um, not V-ray materials they are ray traced uh, they are only supported by 3D Max not supported by V-ray so uh, basically I cannot convert them I need to convert them manually so just select the object and convert and do this operation one more time very thin converter press it and check this uh, standard material what's going to happen to him now it's very material and if you see here if I used any high glossiness or any parameters it gives me a really weird number so you might wanna 
um, recheck one more time all your materials um, the next thing is um, override material this is basically uh, you're applying one material to whole to, to the whole scene and uh, rendering it just uh, use it here override material just uh, put some some V-ray material in it and hit the render button basically what it does it's apply it applies automatically to all your scene uh, one material if the bug occurs because of some wrong material some detection material uh, this this should probably solve it so if you don't get this uh, disco lights by using this option you 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 can make sure that this is your material and you might want to check your materials okay um, next thing you want to delete your all your planes all your uh, DWG stuff everything that you brought from uh, from uh, AutoCAD, Archicad, or any uh, architecture program, I know this uh, this stuff sometimes comes with uh, with uh, different with really weird names and uh, really weird objects. Some of them, some of these objects uh, might even be uh, unseen. So uh, basically, the name is uh, is block. So uh, you want to delete all of them. Just duplicate your file. Save save it with with the plans and save another copy without the plans and uh, just remove all your plans I would warmly recommend you to um, avoid using DWGs uh, to extrude uh, to, to create objects to extrude objects from them because um, once I got some really hard bug was uh, was a link connection and uh, only after removing the link and removing all the WGs I could uh, resolve this disco lights bug this uh, this uh, wrong illumination bug so um, the next thing you want to do is uh, select all your scene without the lights without the cameras and convert it to editable mesh or editable poly and that way you will just uh, kill all the modifiers and everything that can occur or cause this bug to happen and uh, you should probably be okay on this stage if it still occurs and if it's uh, and if it still happens what I did um, for the final thing is uh, I moved folder I just moved uh, uh, to another directory I opened there a new folder created new file and merged into it uh, only the objects that I knew that were um, created by me and uh, had nothing to do with DWG files and were not extruded from DWG files so uh, basically all the models that you are sure 100% they're okay you just uh, merge them to your new scene and um, this is how you solve this bug uh, if you do this step by step uh, you should probably uh, solve it so um, let's just memorize it if you're getting a message far from region or a bounding box is too large you first of all you want to check your po uh, scene position and uh, use it uh, and measure it with, uh, with tape uh, then check your lights, check your position, hidden lights or duplicated lights Check your textures, uh, use the steam converter, check all the UDW maps and uh, ray trace material you need to convert manually. Um, use override option material to detect if it's a texture problem or not. Delete all the architecture plans, uh, check also uh, hidden and unhide all the objects. Check if there is unseen objects, uh, the name should probably be, uh, be block or something like that. Uh, convert all the scene and to a deeple mesh or deeple poly, and eventually delete uh, all extruded uh, objects from plants or uh, DWG files. Just uh, use the snap tool, remodel all your walls once again. The last thing, if it didn't happen, move a folder. Try to lose this link. Sometimes uh, DWG uh, plants they uh, got uh, co they connected to your uh, DWGs in your 3D Max scene. So uh, basically, if you move a folder in another di uh, directory, you should uh, probably kill this link forever. So basically, this is it. If you follow these rules, you should probably uh, find a solution for this bug. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find this useful. If you got any comments or any questions, just post them on my blog. I'll be happy to help you. This was Alex, your V-Ray guide. Talk soon. Bye. Thank you.